One of our favorite isometrics for the lower body is a split squat isometric. Now you're gonna need some kind of hip belt. There's a lot of versions out there, some really inexpensive ones that you can get that are used for uh, adding weight to chin-ups and dips and things like that. And you're gonna need a carabiner. Then the last piece of equipment would be a yoga strap. So this is a pretty economical way to do these split squat isometrics. I'm going to hook the yoga strap to my carabiner. So I've got the loop set now fairly high that would put me in a, the almost fully contracted position of the split squat. We like to use a more functional split squat, so not a really wide stance, but think of just a like a normal step forward, and then my feet are both hip width apart as well. So I'm not tight roping it, the feet are hip width apart. And from this position, I can begin to drive through this lead leg to get that isometric contraction at the almost fully contracted position. Once I do the isometric for the time that I want to do, I'm just going to crank the yoga strap down a little bit more and get to that mid position. So about a 90 degree bend in the knee. I can be on a ball foot with my rear foot and I'm still driving through this lead leg for the isometric here. To get to that more fully or near fully stretch position, I just crank down the yoga strap some more, driving my knee forward, keeping it over my middle of my toes, and then I'm driving up for the isometric again through that lead leg. And then we just switch legs. So the yoga strap works great, can be found easily a lot of places and pretty easily adjustable. But another piece of equipment that's really easy to use is a uh, climbing strap, this is a daisy chain, so you've got these loops of nylon. And then I could just snap in to whichever position I need for the isometric. So another convenient way to do it. You can get a little bit more exact measurements with the yoga strap.